Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Entra product family. In this lecture, you will be learning Microsoft Entra family of multi-cloud identity and access solutions. This would be a very short lecture to introduce the entire Microsoft Entra family to manage multiple products that are part of this product family. So when we say product family, it is a combination of multiple products and a single product name. So in this case, we call this as a Microsoft Entra product family where it includes multiple products like Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft Entra ID is a cloud based identity and access management service, which is going to enable your employees or external even users to access or access your internal resources or external resources for your internal users, including your employees. Uh, for example, in this case, Microsoft 365 or Azure Portal or thousands of SaaS based applications that can be easily granted access and you could control completely with the help of Microsoft Entra ID. Let me show you from the uh, from the portal. So this is how you would be accessing entra.microsoft.com and within this identity, you could you know, create your user accounts or you could manage your users, groups and devices, applications and many things can be done within Microsoft Entra ID. And your Entra ID can be used by your IT admins to control access for your applications or app resources or business requirements can be achieved by granting accurate access on your application. And you could even achieve the multi-factor authentication by enabling uh, to access those resources with the help of Entra ID. And also app developers can uh, create a standard based authentication uh, mechanisms of single sign on based applications that all can be controlled with the Entra ID. I'm not going to cover about the licensing as it would be a different lecture altogether. But yes, you also need to have certain licensing level like P1, P2, Entra identity specific licenses or government. Uh, if, if your company is coming from a government based identity then you need to know follow the governance id complaints and regulatory policies and you need to end up with that identity we can talk about the next product within this family called microsoft entra id protection microsoft entra id protection helps organizations to detect and investigate remediate identity based uh, risks for example uh, if a user is trying to sign in from a miles away from his home location within the few minutes of the time it can be considered as the uh, risky user and we could you know automatically generate such kind of you know users risks and we could you know auto remediate with the help of conditional access policies or you could even send these automated uh, alerting mechanism to your uh, sims or security information event management systems a tool for further investigation or correlation so you could easily detect and investigate and you could even remediate with the help of uh, multi-factor authentication or maybe uh, with the blocking with the help of microsoft entra conditional access policies that all can be done and the next set one would be the microsoft entra id governance this is an identity governance solution that's going to enable for your organizations to improve productivity strengthen in terms of the security uh, and you could easily manage or meet your complaints and regulatory requirements this is mostly used for microsoft id governance uh, for the government organizations or some kind of you know regulatory or complaints requirements it can be easily done because it's going to fully automatically ensure that the right people have the right access in a right resource level uh, this is a great uh, feature that could be added for your organizations uh, in terms of the regulatory and complaints point of view the next one would be the microsoft entra external id which refers to all the ways you can securely interact with the users outside of your organization if you want to you know, collaborate maybe with your partners or distributors or suppliers or vendors you can share your resources uh, and define your internal users can access external organizations also if you're a developer creating some kind of you know consumer based facing applications you can manage your customers identity experience uh, with the two more options one would be the uh, external id for customers this is purely for your new customers identity and access management or uh, ciam 
solution for your organizations and businesses that you wanted to make their public facing uh, applications available for your uh, consumers to consume uh, so that Microsoft Entra ID makes it easy for your consumers uh, for your self uh, service registration. Let's say you know there is an a there is an a web application the users can uh, register on their own uh, since it's a consumer based application. Then you would be you know, using the Microsoft Entra external ID for customers or for your consumers, right? And in case if you have a uh, solution um, for your partners or your distributors vendors, then you would be you know, using the external identities with B2B, that's business to business or uh, business to a uh, customer also. And sometimes you might be you know, using the uh, multi-tenant organization also within this Microsoft Entra external IDs. So it's mostly for your partners and vendors. This B2B or B2C would you know, help definitely for your cross a two-way trust for your uh, another Microsoft Entra organizations for a seamless collaboration purpose and uh, you could use the B2B and you could publish your modern SaaS based applications or custom developed application applications for your consumers and customers while using the uh, B2C option in this case. The next two products that's Microsoft Entra Internet Access and Entra Private Access. These two falls under Global Secure Access. This global secure access will protect your internet access and the private access without compromising your applications data or your corporate data. As the global secure access is the unified location in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center, and thus global secure access is built upon the core principle of zero trust to use the least privileged verify explicitly and assuming the breach case and that this is purely uh, integrated in the back end with Microsoft Defender for cloud apps and Microsoft Defender so that the networks uh, specific any kind of you know, bridges also would be easily prevented like uh, stolen the uh, stolen keywords or token tokens so ultimately you would be you know, protected uh, because the users are working from anywhere uh, these days so this is going to apply universal conditional access policies all over the internet uh, destinations if not you know federated with microsoft entra id there are a lot of integrations between the conditional access session control also and it's going to do the web content filtering for regulating the access uh, to the websites based on their content categories and domain names and it's going to protect your user access to public internet while using the Microsoft Cloud uh, delivered identity aware uh, software gateway uh, solutions. Uh, I would say, you know, many things can be you know, done within the global uh, secure access, but we would be, you know, learning those things with respect to those uh, lectures. The next one would be the Microsoft Enter Permissions Management, which is a cloud infrastructure and title management. Uh, it's a solution that's going to provide you comprehensive visibility into the permissions assigned for your all the identities, including your users and workloads, what kind of an actions they can do, what kind of you know, resources they are trying to access or has a permissions. It can detect, it can uh, give you right sizes and it would, you know, uh, monitor unused and uh, excessive uh, permissions. Uh, it, so. It, it would be, you know, giving a great flexibility for enabling the zero trust within your company or within your organization for the zero trust security uh, through a least privileged access uh, within Microsoft Azure or AWS or even GCP. Uh, all these places, it would, you know, work this Microsoft Entra permissions management. The next product would be the Microsoft Entra Verified ID, uh, which is going to manage a verifiable credential service uh, that enables your organizations to issue a, and verify credentials in a manner that is cryptographically secure and compliant privacy requirements so that you could you know, collaborate with um, decentralized identity model uh, organizations so that uh, they know that you are compliant, your ID is compliant, and you are a trusted user identity as a verified identity. So this is a new concept that has been uh, introduced uh, with the decentralized identifiers. The next product would be the Microsoft Entra Workload ID, which is going to help you to manage and secure your identities for your digital workloads, such as your apps or services. 
to authenticate and access other services or resources. So the terminology is inconsistent across the industry, but generally a workload identifies is something you need uh, for your software identity entry uh, to authenticate with some other system, right? For example, if you ask me what are those you know in microsoft enter workload identities these are the application service principles and managed identities so these are the things that can be you know represent for example uh, service principle is a local uh, representation or application instance of your global application or object um, in a specific tenant that being said these are the uh, products that are part of microsoft entra family and we would be you no know, learning as we go through with respect to the uh, feature. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture.